to sit in the Yeshiva Shalmaila as a reward, even for somebody who didn't understand, if he went to learn. If he went to the place of learning and he sat there, and that's all he could do, he's going to be rewarded that he'll sit in the Yeshiva Shalmaila and he will understand. Of course, if a person goes to the place of learning and he dozes off, not interested, doesn't care, or he doesn't try to take a translation beforehand and learn elementary things. So that person not interested. But let's say somebody has a fervid desire to learn, but he understands nothing, and he comes and sits. So he'll be zoche, but yeshe be yeshiva shalmaila. Good. But it doesn't mean he's going to say Torah and the yeshiva shalmaila. No. Makes a big difference between mere desire and between somebody who is a great man in Torah in this world. That's what the Gemara tells of their vision. Somebody who died or nearly died, and when he recovered, he was asked, what did he see in his vision of the world to come? So he saw the tachtenim le'maylo ve'elyenim le'mato that those who are important in this world are not so important there. And those who are unimportant in this world many times are important there. And then he asked, you know, what about Talmidi Chachamim? So he answered, just like they were important here, they are important there, which means the virtue of Torah, the Shlemus of Torah, is so important that in both worlds it retains its value. So, even though the Fumsairo Agro, like we said, is a criterion, the more a man suffers for an ideal, the more reward he deserves. However, there's also a criterion of Shlemus. If a man has more Shlemus, more perfection, even though somebody else suffered more and accomplished less, there's another Gan Eden in the Yeshiva Shalmailo, in the Mesifta de Rikia, and still it's measured out and not able to tell you exactly HaKadosh Baruch who knows how to measure, but there certainly is this kind of a measure for Shlemans, and there's a measure for the Fumitsayo Ago. Question, what is 